Hey everybody, Backpack Act here coming at you with another trail tip. And a lot of people think preppers are interested in stocking up food, water, guns, ammo, medical supplies, things like that. We are. But there's a subsection of medical supplies that I think gets overlooked by a lot of preppers. And that is personal hygiene. The stuff that you have in your bathroom every day. When I talk medical supplies, I'm not talking about uh, bandages and thing, you know, antibiotics, things that you have around to take care of from anything from a simple cut to a gunshot wound, a broken arm or something like that. Those are medical supplies. I'm talking about personal care, hygiene. You get up out of bed, go into the bathroom and perform your morning constitutional, just look at the consumables you're going through. That stuff is not going to last forever. Uh, you always put it on your uh, shopping list to go get some more. The idea here is you need to start stocking up some more. Now, I'm not promoting any particular brand here because the beauty of this is you don't need to do any research as to what is best. You've already done that. You know the products you're going to buy. They're in your bathroom. They're in your cabinet. They're in your um, drawers. They're, they're in your medicine cabinet. You simply need to go in and look. Now, how much to buy? Well, first off, you need to benchmark your usage. When you, buy, when you start using a product, and I keep a marker in my bathroom, and I keep markers all around the house strictly for this purpose, write down the date that you open up the product and start using it. That way, when you empty that product and get your next package out, you can figure out how long, how many days, weeks, months, years, whatever, that package has lasted you. Now you can base that information. You've benchmarked that data, your usage. You've got that data. How many of these do I need to buy to get the length of stock that I want to have? In other words, if you want to have a year's worth of supply and a tube of toothpaste only lasts you two weeks in your house, well, what's 52 divided by two? 26. You need to have 26 uh, box or tubes of toothpaste stacked away. When you stack them away, you definitely want to put the date that you purchased them on the package. And you can see I've done that with a lot of these. In fact, here's, I bought this in, in March of 2017. So this is two years old. This is going to be the next one that I crack into because the reason I grabbed it is I've got another one behind this one in my cabinet that I purchased last year. So once you benchmark your usage, you can figure out how many of that you need to have stocked up, but make sure you write down on the package the date that you purchased it and then rotate your stock. In other words, if I have to have 12 of these to last me a year, my newest is going to be in the back. So when I open up the cabinet to get the next one out, I pull one out. Another thing to do is you got to maintain that inventory. Don't say, well, I need to have 15 tubes of toothpaste. So you go out and buy 15 tubes. If you can afford to do that, that's fine. If not, work your way up. Buy three at a time. But you got your 15 in there and you think, well, great, I'm set. I got a year's supply and then start using it. Don't just start using it and say, oh, I'm down to my last tube. I need to go buy another year's supply. No, don't do that because once you start getting into your stock and you don't replace it, then you don't have a year's worth of supply. If I've got 15 tubes of toothpaste in my cabinet and I pull one out, I put it on my shopping list and I stop by the store and buy another one and put it in the back of the cabinet and bring everything forward. And that way I've always got a year's worth of supply. If this is going to last me a year, I don't wait until I'm down to this much of it, you know, like let's say two months worth and say, oh, I better go buy one. Because if I'm down to just a 20% of this, I don't have a year's worth of supply unless I have one of these sitting in the cabinet. And as soon as I pull that one out, I go buy another one to replace it. Finally, don't cheap out. Don't think, well, I like to buy expensive, good quality name brand toilet paper, but I don't want to put that kind of money into a stock. I'm going to go buy the cheap stuff that you find in the restrooms at the rest stops along the interstate where you need to have 15 foot of it every time you wipe. You don't want to do that. Buy the stuff that you are going to use. Buy the stuff that's in your cabinets and in your bathroom already. 
and that way you will rotate it because the last thing you want to do is buy a product that you aren't going to use and squirrel it away and when the trucks finally stop running and you pull out that old generic brand toothpaste and as hard as a rock it isn't going to do you any good so don't cheap out by buying generic or something that you're not going to use buy the products that you use every day make sure you have a supply maintain your inventory don't cheap out and keep track of your usage this is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share on my videos. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.